why did I do the things that I did? For people that don't know me, don't work with me, uh, obviously I had the great opportunity of representing Great Britain at four, four, almost said four Paralympics, four World Championships and two Paralympics. But obviously, uh, when I when I did nearly put it in the subheadings, I was lucky to do this. Ultimately. That's, there's no luck in that. That was a choice. Uh, I I visualised as a child what I wanted to do, which I said was point three, and obviously I made took the steps to make that happen. So where can you take this from? From a basis of now me being a coach for helping people with their diet and obviously their exercise needs to lose ten plus pounds in ninety days. Obviously, some people is going to take a little bit longer than that, but. That is case by case where we look at it. Um, obviously, if you look at the comp, this is a difficult word for me to say it. Compartmentalize versus on this is a topic that I looked at when what I've written down. Comparison versus comp competition. Obviously, life works very much on a they deem it competition, but it's more comparison because you will look at a number of factors as to why you haven't achieved your goal, be it somebody down the street, uh, a neighbour, a family member, a colleague, passing judgment, be it I've utilised this diet, I've had this r result with it, and obviously you being you will then try it because that person has recommended to do it, you don't have the same outcome. You start to question yourself or your your own, own belief as I can't achieve this goal of, just for argument's sake, losing weight. Uh, ultimately, that is comparison versus competition. Where, from an athlete perspective, yes, it's an external motivation but that's what gets the best out of the individual and I was going to do this as a content at a late, later date but I'll put it into this one uh, to make a point. Uh, I watched a recent Sky documentary in the UK, I think it's an HBO documentary originally on, so I don't get it wrong, Hitsville, the creation of Motown and how they as an organisation use competition to get the best out of their athletes, so be it um, and this is not going to show my age, but it'd be the influence from my parents on obviously my my, my music tastes on Motown, be it Stevie Wonder, Marvin Gaye, The Temptations, The Full Tops, The Supremes, and obviously me just saying those names, music will come to you in terms of you can probably think of one song or another that that re relates to, and they as a Motown company used each other to get the best out of themselves uh, so be it I'll do that with my peers and there's a few of them on I'm watching the feed we as a collective are going against the grain in terms of the fitness industry actually supporting each other where the fitness industry is built on the complete opposite as I won't say tear down each other but we'll look to compare contrast and try and one up, get a one up on on each other, and not be facilitated. Obviously, that's the contra that's con contradictory of obviously the here and now uh, with modern music, uh, where they're more egotistical. So that's where I'm coming from. Where it's a very supportive environment. Athletes, it would be. It's not necessarily looking to compare. Yes, there's ultimately competition, but we're in it to help each other out from time to time. Where, when I finish my career, people deem competition to be bad. That can't 
be an attribute that goes into the real world because ultimately you're out to best somebody was so technically that's not true that's comparison where that gets in the way uh, if I go to my second point with anchoring where I said I was lucky or fortunate to do this um, I think it grounded me and, that, and what I mean by anchoring is grounding yourself on something positive that you're able to achieve thus when you hit speed bumps along the way which you will do in anything to do with something that is out of your control or, or uncomfortable which very much uh, weight loss or fat loss is ultimately that's what the video is about um, if you can anchor to something that you're able to achieve when something bad does happen you can be a little bit uplifting oh, I was able to do this this is only a setback let me keep going uh, so the final one and I touched upon it earlier in the video was that visualization is if you are able to see or feel where you want to be for eight to six months down the line you are more likely to make that happen obviously for me as an athlete it wasn't always the case if I go harpen back to the early days of when I was a swimmer and this might be funny now because it's it, it is it is uh, it's brought a smile to my face just by thinking about it when we had to visualize um, the 2008 Paralympic Games in Beijing, and this is showing, this is about 20 years ago now, uh, so this would be about 2006, or roughly a little bit less, 15 years. Um, we had to sit there, visualize, and do very much like meditation is to trying to visualize what it would be like to compete in that venue. What do you think happened with me? Uh, I fell asleep. So be it, it is a skill that takes time to accomplish visualization. I'm not saying it's going to happen overnight. It's something that I have to re revisit multiple times, but I'm able to do it. And this is where it works nicely with that anchoring that visualization of something good in your life you you just do it and see how you feel you will be more you will be even if you are in a bad mood be it i don't know frustrated or angry your just thought process is going to completely change so that is today's video in a nutshell on why i succeeded and, and, and to a certain extent within my sporting career and that gives you a little bit of an insight into me and how it relates to diets and exercise and something for you to take away so once again uh, if you're watching this on the replay and I need to do this earlier in, the, in, in recordings in future is don't forget to put hashtag replay <laughs>